Um, what I have right here in front of me are basically two of my laptops. I have the one that we're, of course, working on, which is the T430. And then next to that, I actually have my X250. And what I wanted to do versus me throwing in the SSD uh, and then, you know, comparing basically the boot up times prior to and then afterwards, I wanted to put these two side by side. And the main reason why I wanted to do that is there's a pretty big difference between what's inside of here as far as the running gear, processors, and memory is concerned versus what's inside of this laptop. And even though this laptop is a two generations newer, it really should not be faster than this laptop. Uh, and this is really based on the performance of the supposed CPU, especially the one that I just upgraded to. So just to give you some specs, the X250, once again, newer laptop, so it's running the i3-5010, uh, uh, 2.1 gigahertz uh, processor. Not that fast. It's actually low voltage as well. It only has 4 gigs of RAM, and it's also a dual core versus... This guy over here, once again, I've already upgraded the, upgraded the processor. I have the i7-3632QM. Um, it's running at 2.2 gigs, and it has 12 gigabytes of RAM. It also has a quad core, uh, and it does, you know, multi-threading, etc. But uh, the other thing is this can actually boost performance up to 2.87. So really, on paper, this one should be faster. I get it, newer processor, but even steel, um, when you see the difference, it completely leaves it in the dust. The one thing that I will add, and this is one of the reasons why I'm upgrading this one, is there is a SSD here. This laptop is running a 5400 RPM um, hard disk drive. Once again, I believe that's the bottleneck, and that is the reason why part of this update will be adding the ADATA uh, SU-800. I've already done the migration so it's cloned with the disk drive that's in here. So it's just a matter of putting it in. So, um, the other key difference is there is a um, dedicated graphics card. Uh, so it's running integrated and discrete, right? So, you know, back when Intel was using the Optimus technology, which basically allowed your graphics card to automatically switch back and forth. Uh, depending on what you were running. So it has that capability. This one, on the other hand, only has integrated graphics. This has the, uh, uh, oh gosh, what is it? The Intel HD graphics 50, I think it's the 5500. It is the 5500. And then this one has the Intel HD 4000. So yeah, slower. However, it does have the NVIDIA NVS um, 5400 with a one gig of dedicated RAM. But the thing that I want to demonstrate is how slow this computer actually is, which is leading me to the belief that this is going to be the fix um, for that particular conundrum. So if you bear with me, I'm going to start both of these at the same time and we'll go through it in steps. So first off, I'll start it up and they, they both have to actually initialize all these different processes and then they both have fingerprint readers. And what I'll do is I will swipe my fingers at the same time to see if we can actually get them to start, you know, simultaneously. And you can see for yourself from the video how long it actually takes. So, without further ado. So, there you go. Both ThinkPads, of course, starting to boot up. Um, you'll notice something fairly quickly here. So, this guy, he's still starting Windows and doing whatever it is he's doing. Check this out, right? Way slower processor. Um, once again, it has an SSD. It's a 128 SSD. So, way quicker on the boot up. Still waiting on this bad boy. There you go. But here's the deal. It still isn't finished. If you'll notice, there's a little small light here for the fingerprint reader. That means that the fingerprint reader has been initialized and it's ready to accept your fingerprint. This one just came on. And now you can see, please swipe your finger. So now that we're at that point, once again, you saw the difference. I'm going to swipe, and then it's going to continue to start up Windows. Uh-oh. Still faster, right? So he got a head start because my swipe didn't take the first time. 
still faster. And we're still waiting. So, like I said, I think it's a very big difference. Um, and so here we go. Finally up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it uh, should be faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition here to the actual build and then we're going to try to boot this up once we get everything installed to see how it does. Today, what we'll be doing, of course, is adding the uh, solid state um, ADATA SU800. Once again, I've already migrated it, so I've copied everything. I cloned this disk, already cloned the information on here. And then the other thing that we're going to get into is the screen install. So showed this earlier. We're going to go ahead and throw this bad boy on there also. And... Then we'll check it and see. So that's it for now.